Swiss Foreign Minister Micheline Calmeret has come under fire internationally and at home since her March 17th visit to Iran. Calmeret signed with Iran's president a 25-year gas deal, reportedly for 10 to 22 billion euros. That's 15 to 34 billion dollars to diversify Switzerland's energy supply and reduce dependence on Russian gas. But that deal immediately sparked U.S. criticism. We don't think that now is the time for people to be investing in uh, Iran, not only in its petroleum or uh, natural gas area, but um, in any sector of its economy. Um. Iran is under Chapter 7 sanctions imposed by the UN Security Council for its controversial nuclear and missile program. While the Swiss gas deal does not appear to violate the terms of the sanctions, the U.S. still considers it risky business. Do you want to do business potentially with financial institutions that are under UN sanctions or could become under sanctions if it's found that they are assisting or aiding or abetting Iran's nuclear program in any way? Um, these, are, these are reputational risks, these are business risks. Standing next to the Iranian foreign minister at their joint Tehran press conference, Kalmeret took further risks, criticizing Iran's strict policy towards Israel in a statement that did not make headlines. Nations have to respect the right to exist of all other UN members, and therefore the anti-Israeli rhetoric uh, that sometimes exists is totally unacceptable for Switzerland. And at home, the foreign minister made unfavorable headlines over wearing a headscarf during that visit. The Lausanne Daily tabloid, Le Matin's front page headline, described her as a submissive woman. Where is the solidarity with the women who are fighting to lift the veil? Manipulated and anti-feminist are other accusations of the foreign minister who is considered the incarnation of the feminist fight in Switzerland. One parliamentarian complains it is inexcusable that she wore the veil in a political meeting since she wasn't in a holy place. And many parliamentarians, angered by her veil, call the incident scandalous. Calmire, however, disagrees. Wearing the headscarf, she says, is a gesture of respect to the host country.